Hey, 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 it's Brian with Happy Tom's Gaming, and we're back with some more LEGO City Undercover. We are officially in the home stretch, as you guys know. This is going to be Auburn Free Room. And we're going to get a handful of collectibles, including a couple of bonus collectibles. There are two bonus character tokens and a bonus vehicle, as well as a couple of trophy achievements we get in this particular video. So, as that clown tries to sneak by us for the almost the last time, we go ahead and we start off right here in front of the infamous police station. Now, real quick, as per usual, we're going to check our red brick situation. In fact, we've turned on just about every single one we have so far. The only one we don't use is that police siren hat. But most importantly, the super fast travel, the, uh, yeah, that's going to be the one we need to go ahead and travel to the metro station. Now, uh, quick, uh, phone be helpful tip. We do have quick links down below in the video description to get us to where you need to be. So if you need that red brick or particularly uh, something else, maybe, whatever it is, you go ahead and select it now we're gonna take a quick look as it looks we already accidentally got the disguise booth and as a result we got a character token with that uh, in fact it was the harbor worker character token now we're gonna go ahead and start off by hopping in a vehicle and driving just north of cherry tree hills up to Auburn itself now of course as you guys know if you don't like my drive driving stay off the sidewalk boy I almost messed that up but uh, that's kind of how I roll I roll uh, wherever I need to and usually I follow the old ghost stud trail but every once in a while I get off on the sidewalkage but uh, all right here we are officially in the blue zone or in Auburn and I'm gonna pull a quick handbrake here and hop out and look at that we've already got the disguise booth here now if you haven't already smashed and rebuilt that go ahead and take out the big blue box rebuild it into the disguise booth and pick up that character token number one harbor master as well as the gold brick now you can see me jumping for joy although I didn't get that on screen we got it earlier in one of our story videos so all right, moving right along. We got a super brick build right behind that and happens to give us a character token as well for the race car driver. And of course, another go brick. We, uh, we get quite a few in this particular level, but uh, we got a lot to go in. Hey, if you're new or maybe you haven't already done this, go ahead and click that subscribe button or maybe click the like as well or both, whichever suits your fancy, but we'd certainly appreciate your subscription as well as your liking of this video. Assuming it helped you and maybe you found it a wee bit fun, but uh, all right, Super Brick build number two is right across the street, and it's kind of uh, in between the old uh, hillside here and the first building. And you'll find it glowing away and build it up for 8K. Look at that, we've got another vehicle call-in point. Now, by now, we are not kind of in the home stretch of all of these vehicle call-in points. I think we got way more than enough Super Bricks to build those, but uh, who knows? You might need to go farm some depending on how you've spent yours. Now. All right, uh, you might have noticed there's this green kind of trash can looking thing over here right as you cross the border. It's kind of oddly placed, and I wonder what that is. Oh, oh, look at that. It's a scan spot. So we're going to pull out our trusty old iPad with that black light search pattern there. Look at that. We see these little footprints, and they takes us, well, left and right. And, oh, I almost got lost there for a second. That's one thing that I, uh, I maybe I need to improve on. I, I'd say, you know, maybe the game could help. Uh, us a little bit by not being so specific or you know like once you get to the X that marks the spot sometimes like you'll see later in the video uh, I actually get all the way to the end and it messes up and I don't actually get the X so I had to go do it all over again but check it out we get a trophy achievement called the cheat chief for getting the final red brick which happens to be another data scan upgrade so uh, woo to the who we got all the red bricks now you're welcome to turn them all on and see what it does for you I don't think there's a trophy or achievement for getting them all turned on at the same time, but there is one that you just saw for getting them all unlocked now. All right, right around the corner on the, behind this first building here in Auburn, we're going to find the first watering spot. So pull out that watering can, man, and hey, we're running out of those. We actually only have two more, so looks like on, uh, well, between now and Lady Liberty Island, there's only two left. Uh, a little spoiler alert, there's actually one more in this one. We'll get to it in a little bit. But uh, all right, on the left-hand side of this same building that we're working on here, there is a grapple plug. So go ahead and rip it down with your grappler and make it to the back left side of this building and check it out. We've got a crowbar spot. So get your bar out and get down inside. Look at that. We've got a switch that flips the door open. That's right. Open says me. And in the corner, we've got this safe. And luckily for us, we've got the uh, whichever red brick it is that cracks those fast. I think it's like the super crack 
I, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. It's probably not the super crack red brick. But anyways, Paul Flanagan's inside there. I think that was his name, Paul Flanagan. And uh, anyhow, we got him, and we're moving along. We're actually going to climb up that same ladder, but this time, instead of going left, we're going to go to the right and use the ladder on the front side. Now, hey, that is a sign that there's going to be a little bit of time in between the this, this right now and the next collectible. I tried to say that all at once, and it didn't quite work out for me, did it? But uh, so, yeah, feel free to use the quick links down below for the next part. And uh, otherwise, you could skip around. I, there's a couple of things in this area, particularly, that were actually quite fun that weren't related to a collectible. But, uh, you know, this is fun. We don't get to drive an RC car very often, and it just so happens in this particular spot we do get to drive one. And the goal here is to drive them inside here and drive up on both of these ramps and hit those switches. Uh, changing them from red to green. Once they're both green, it's actually going to remove the power and it's actually going to give us a little stud trail that we can follow. And, uh, well, there's a little surprise at the end once you follow it. But it's not as awesome as you might hope. It's just a large super brick. So, sorry to spoil any awesome hopes you may have, but that's what it is. Now, uh, unfortunately, our attract studs red brick does not really apply to our RC cars. So you do have to get rather closely in order to collect all of these before that super brick will spawn up top. But uh, just make a lap and a half or so around. It's kind of a figure eight. Or I guess we go around all the way around the edge and then in through the middle. Oh, to the end. There she blows. We'll go ahead and detach from our RC car and hop up and swoop it up. And although I don't think we'll need it, we'll go ahead and add it to our collection. All right, next up, we're going to hop up onto this weird barn-like roof here. It's kind of a round roof. And you're going to notice that on the top there, there is actually a teleporter. So we're going to have Scotty beam us up. Now, if you use the quick link to get to this particular item here, you're going to want to use the grapple plug on the left side of the lower part of the building there to get up. And it's pretty easy peasy to get up from there. Now, once you use the teleporter, we're going to go ahead and thank Scotty and then drop down onto this building roof over here, which happens to have the little fishy on the ground. That's right. We're going to pull out our anchovy can and look at that. Come here, here kitty, 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 kitty. That's right. We're going to rescue old Emmett. And, uh, yep, for those of you who don't know, that's my cat. No, it's not really, but it looks just like him, though. In fact, Reese even made a little Lego version of that kitty. If you haven't seen it, check out our Instagram, as I am pretty sure there's a picture of it there. And maybe not. Maybe it's on Facebook. One of the two. Check us out on social media, and you'll find it one way or the other. All right, once you rescue that little kitty, we're going to turn around and switch into our construction edition of Chase McCain. And look at that. We've got a fuse panel in the back that needs a little bit of attention. So we'll go ahead and bingo, bango, bongo on it, flip it closed, and wait for the switch to pop up. Ba -boing. Now, this one's a little bit trickier than previous ones. This one actually requires us to use a ladder and a teleporter in order to get them all. So uh, it doesn't really matter which order you do this in. We are going to go all the way to that teleporter, though, and use it, and then start Start from the top and work our way down. That's kind of always been our method on these, is always start from the top and work your way down. Usually, uh, you have the better view up here, and you can kind of see what's going on down below. You might miss something down below otherwise, but uh, in this particular case, it's pretty straightforward. You see these things, you d -d -d drill them, and there's just a couple more down below there. So three different levels here that you're going to have to get to. And wait for it. We got down on the third level now. And I started to panic a little bit. I'm like, wait a minute. Is, am I really going to get 26? I feel like I'm short. But nope, as it turns out, we get them all. Yay! So I uh, looked out. I didn't have really any issues on any of the d -d 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 drill thrills. However, there is one left. So hopefully my streak will continue and I will finish with a perfection ribbon. I don't know if I really will get a ribbon, but it sounded cool. So, all right. Hey, we're going to double back across this building here. In fact, we're going to jump across the burning pipe there and uh, I'm going to actually show you two ways how to get to this next collectible so that's actually the way that you're supposed to come you're supposed to make your way up onto the top of that building over there by using the transporter over to the left like we did to get to the cat that we rescued but I'm going to show you another way it's kind of a cheater way as long as you haven't destroyed this little flower alongside the road here you can actually hop up on it and, and skip half of your journey that is, if you're not already up there. Now, if you're following along, then it, this is really not good information. This is kind of a waste of time. But if you were not following along, look at that. There's a little rip in the fence. You can make your way through. And up onto the containers we go. And although the camera gets really funny on us and kind of switches back and forth, uh, we can go ahead and make our way to the topmost crate here. And look at that. We get a couple of super bricks as well as a character token for Bobby Harm. Oh, psych. It's Bobby Hammer. Ha, ha, ha. My screen was... Uh, glimmering with super bricks i was a little overwhelmed there 
Anyhow, we're going to use the jetpack to jump up and into this big silo-like area here. You probably noticed that there's a character token floating around up above it amongst them studs. And you might have noticed there's a fuse panel over on the opposite side of where we jumped in. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and make it hammer time again and switch on over to our construction edition. And look at that. As soon as we pound in on that fuse box, all the water goes bye-bye. So that's right. We must have pulled the drain plug with that nice fuse box. And we found ourselves another super brick build. So looks like this one only gives us a gold brick. But I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't like discount that or discredit that as being something not cool. I mean, that's we got one more super brick off our checklist now as well as another gold brick. And of course, it's probably gonna make it rain studs. Wait for it. Is it gonna rain studs? I haven't seen it rain studs yet. Wait a minute. We got robbed. It didn't rain any studs. That's the first super brick build I think we've got that did not make it just rain blues and purples and all sorts of others. But hey, we're gonna use that fan to get up top. Look at that, the harbor worker is up top waiting for us. And we officially got him. Now, uh, oh, to the, yeah, what's next, what's next? All right, I, I know what's next. There's a character token over at the gas station, but I was trying to put out this fire here, and for whatever reason, I couldn't get it done, so I don't know if it was just a funny angle or what, but I was also kind of looking at my notes, which is why I was fumbling my words there for a second, because, uh, you know, I was pretty sure that the disguise booth yielded us the harbor worker, but we just got the harbor worker, so uh, my notes are apparently wrong, but we got we got a disguise booth earlier in a previous video, and yeah, we got a character token with it. I, I guess I'm confusing... You guys more than you probably already are. But hey, we're at the gas station. We are inside by using the crowbar. And guess what? We got Richard Thomas. Character token waiting for us inside. So we'll swoop that up. And then we're going to make our way over to this big jump over here. Now we've maybe used this jump a time or two in chases across the town. But we're actually going to pay attention to what's under the jump. That's right. It's hiding on the backside there. Giggity. And we'll go ahead and flip it over with our super astro crate red brick. And look at that. We have freed an alien. So we'll go ahead and... Take on the arrival head on, and we'll shoot him with our phaser, which is set to stun. Look at that. He stunned him. Man down. So we'll go ahead and get on the backside of him because this way he'll run uh, uh, towards us, not away from us, because that's actually where we wanted to go. We wanted to go up and over that jump there, not away from it. So look at that. We got one more alien, it looks like, waiting for us on Lady Liberty Island. And uh, we're going to use the ramp to get up top. And you can already see our next target up there. It's actually that silver statue. And I got to be honest, this baboinger right here that we discover in these black or dark gray bricks here is actually one of the most awesome boingers I've ever seen watch what happened look at that thing rip us up there that was pretty amazing now luckily for us we do have the unlimited dynamite red brick turned on hopefully you do too otherwise you're gonna have to make your way back down into the town to find a dynamite dispenser which to be honest with you i'm not even sure where the closest one is uh by now hopefully you've been following along and you already have the unlimited dynamite red brick and that's not an issue for you if you don't my bad uh it's one of the only levels i actually did not show you or provide a map spot where it is so any hue. Uh, all right, we're all the way over to the Auburn Bay Bridge, and once you were up here, you might have noticed that there's this spot with some handhelds on it. Now, it definitely has a weird, funny camera angle going on up here, but once you get to the very top of this spot, there is a chicken wing ring. So we're going to go ahead and get our oh, and look at that. We've got a few of them. It looks like it goes up and then down and then back up again, all the way over to this giant crane main. That's no problem. We're going to go ahead and get our float on, thanks to our trusty hen here. And like I said, it goes down a little bit, but don't worry. It actually gets us back on up, and you should land up there safely. Now, if you don't, it's a little bit of a journey to get back up there, but uh, it's totally worth it as we make our way all the way over to a jetpack spot, which also has a couple of super bricks along the way. So I, I feel like, you know, we were pretty good already, sitting pretty, but we're really good with super bricks now. Also, a little tip right there, too, because the camera kind of changes as you're running down the crane, I would certainly kind of tap the controller instead of running a full steady pace because it might get going a little fast and the angle might change and you might fall off. And, and I got to be honest, when I was doing my test run, kind of making sure I knew where everything was, was planning my route uh, I actually fell not once but twice like a dummy I fell once with the chicken and once with the jetpack so I had to come up here three times and then now technically this is my fourth time doing the recording so yeah just trying to save you guys a little bit of hassle but uh, all right, we started all the way over there on the bridge, and we have made our way all the way over to the top of this crane, and we're gonna go ahead and have a Neil Armstrong moment where we slam that flag down into the ground and claim our territory. That's right, it's one giant step for minifig kind, and yeah, well, you know the drill. All right, 
we're going to make our way all the way back down to the front side of the crane where we originally landed. And hey, we, we fell down and we landed on something. I'm not sure what happened. We were off camera there for a second and I was moving around, but it was kind of funny angle again. And we're going to pull all the way out to the front side of these big cargo crates. And we're going to show you the map as well as where or what is going on here. There happens to be a little timer icon here, which we usually only see when we're doing the old free runs but in this particular case it actually spawns a whole bunch of studs and if you follow the stud trail all the way around and collect them all it actually gives us a character token for the tow truck driver now because we have the attract studs red brick on it actually makes that a little bit easier for us so hopefully you do too and uh other than the funny angle getting out of this place it's uh easy peasy lemon squeezy all right tow truck driver that's a nice mustachio you got there buddy and we're just going to actually make our way over to the base of the crane we were just on. And right inside, you're actually going to see another character token for the Clown Robber Max. We'll go ahead and use our crowbar to crowbar it open. And look at that. We'll go ahead and collect him. It's easy peasy, too. Next up, we've got actually a super brick build, which is right behind us here. It's glowing away, changing colors nicely. And we'll go ahead and build it up into the lovely call-in point that it was meant to be. And well, that's right. Get our... And look at that, the studs have returned. Oh man, we only have three more super brick builds? Are you kidding me? Check that out, we got a dragger vehicle token for that as well, and a gold brick. Next up, I saw this giant silver, I guess it's a big anchor over here, and I figured, hey, there's gotta be a brown barrel somewhere next to it to slam dunk some dynamite into, and I did just that, and I yielded myself a giant super brick. So, uh, if you got some dynamite on you, you might take a couple of seconds to make that happen too. Meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and run all the way back to this boat that's port side here. I, I guess maybe that's not, it, it might be starboard side. I don't really know my uh, naval or aquatic calls as good as I probably should. Uh, but anyhow, uh, we're going to go ahead and find a series of ladders that we're going to keep on climbing all the way till we get to the tippy tippy toppy. And once we get up there, we find Sarah Horner. Who the heck is Sarah Horner and why is she on top of the boat? She's got a nice little comb over job there, though. Some some tall bangs, if you will. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, they looked rather uh, dapper. All right, we're going to take a shortcut. We're going to hop across the little water here. We don't quite make it all the way, unfortunately. Our jetpack doesn't have enough juice. But uh, we can find a ladder, and we'll make our way up and go all the way to the end of this pier here. And look, there's a couple of handhelds on the right back side there. We'll go ahead and make our way up by spinning the camera all the way around. I highly recommend getting used to that camera stick on your controller there because it can help you or hurt you depending on the situation. And uh, I try to utilize it as much as possible. I recommend you do the same. But all right, we got a hand, a series of handhelds, and in fact, we actually skipped the grapple plug. You can actually use the grappler if you're having troubles with the jetpack or the old chicken. But uh, whichever way you choose to get across, we just keep on making our way till we get to the top. That's right, tip it to the top, and we just don't stop. Uh, look at that, we got all the way up to this acrobatic spot here, and we're gonna go ahead and spam, 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 till we get all the way to the top. And it's actually really fun when we come down too. We got talk. it feels like we got heelys on. If you don't know what heelys are, you should probably use Google real quick and uh, order yourself a pair right now because they're a tremendous amount of fun. Actually, I've never used them, and I, I would probably fall and hurt myself if I had some. But look, it doesn't look like he's healing it up. Woo to the hoo. All right. So uh, next up, we're going to drop down into the water and, again, try to save ourselves a little bit of time by just skipping over and going to the next objective, which happens to be a time trial. Now, we find a ladder on the backside of this wooden docks here. And I got a little confused as I'm making my way down here because the old time trial isn't lit up. That boat should be lit up with a big halo around it. And I'm like, uh, which way do I go? Which way? Oh, there we go. And look at that. It's the time trial, which is going to also give us a vehicle token for brawn. I, don't know, I guess that must be the boat. And we're also going to get a gold brick. So we are kind of nearing almost the halfway point, too. And ooh, it gives us an up close and personal shot of that buoy there that needs to be painted. So. That's right, uh, all fooey, it's almost time for the buoy. We're just gonna actually follow all of these halos around and we just actually make a nice little lap around the front side of the beach here. And I actually get stuck and I thought it was the end for me, but I got lots of time left, so no worries. And uh, worst case scenario, you might have to try this over again, restart the race, but uh, you shouldn't have to. It's a little bit of a funny angle going through some of these little spots here, but like I said, they give you plenty of time, should be enough to get to that finish line. And, ooh, we got some blues and a purple at the end there. Did you see that? We'll take them. We'll take them. Even though we got way more studage than we know what to do with. 
Oh, and there it is. It's a brawn. It's some sort of a forklift. I hate it when the token spins around and you only get it like a brief second of it. Like that worked against us there. But uh, all right, next up, I talked to you about those buoys just a minute ago. We're going to go ahead and paint all five of them now. So four of them are right along the beach. And the fifth one is right there off the end of the dock right next to that time trial. So these are all pretty simple. Now, I, I have to admit... Um, I, I, I found all five of these, but I did not really actually get them when I was doing my kind of experimental planning my route moments. And so I thought, okay, here, here's the deal. Instead of using my miner to mine that and build it up, I'll save everybody some time and I'll hop out on these little hoppers, but you can't change characters. So once I was out there, I was stuck as the astronaut. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and actually make this happen. So I'm going to smash these boulders and i'm gonna build up this small little totem pole there that helps me get on so i jump out there and i'm like wait a minute i am still the wrong character so third time's the charm except it's not the joke's on me because i cannot target that buoy from being on top of there so like i said ah fooey it's the buoy uh, we simply have to go into the water and use your targeting to go ahead and hit him. Now, unfortunately, I was so deep that it wouldn't allow me to actually hold the target. I just had to shoot it out that way. And I'm going to have to do that again in this one, too, I believe. So I give you a quick peek at the map. But really, they're just right along the shoreline of the beach. And I wouldn't worry too much. Basically, if it's if it's silver and it's floating, you got to paint it. That's about as simple as it gets. All right. Last two are over towards the actually the rocky hillside there. And again, I'm going to skip out on trying to jump out there. And luckily for us, by using that boat and doing that time trial, we got most of the super bricks that were out there. Now you can see there is one uh, coming up at this next spot here, but I, I, I'm not too worried about it. Last but not least, we got the fifth one. And uh, once we blast this, it's actually going to spawn a character token back kind of in the middle part of the beach. So not too far for us, which is nice. I hate it when it spawns those tokens like way on the other side of the map. But what do you guys think? I mean, are you guys excited? I mean, we're about ready to go get Hot Tub McCready, which isn't that exciting. But like being on the home stretch of this, I'm sure you guys have been following along, are ready to be done and hit that 100%. And uh, as for me, I'm pretty sure I just ran by the old token, didn't I? Did I run by? Oh, no, it's at the end of the beach. I, my bad. I, I, I mixed it up. There's the next one coming up that's uh, a little bit further down. Yeah, this one's at the end over here. I probably should have painted those in a different order but oh well we had a little bit of extra running a little extra steps for our day but look at hot tub mccready that's a little suspect mustachio he's got there especially with the name hot tub but uh anyhow we'll move along now we're gonna actually go back to the beach and we got a fire you probably noticed there's a barbecue burning out of control so we're gonna switch over to our uh well our fire edition of chase mccain and pull out our clown squirter now i guess it's really a fire extinguisher it kind of looks like a clown squirter, though, doesn't it? All right. It was kind of a funny angle. I was a little, a little too close and personal there. It was in the barbecue's safe zone there. Was not able to put it out. I had to step back and squirt away. Look at that. We got a gold brick added to our list. Now, next up, there are four items on the beach that you need to smash and build up. And I have to be honest, I was a little unsure of where the fourth one was. Uh, so, yeah, we built up the first one. It's a big red box right at the base of the blue stairwell all the way on the... Uh, well, far right side of the beach if you're looking at the ocean, or far left if you're looking at the away from the ocean. <laughs> Next one is actually going to be in another box, actually right in between the first two sets of the poles. Smash it and build it up into what appears to be a lifeguard station. And just beyond that, you're going to see a couple of pallets on the ground. Destroy both of those pallets and build them up into a sandcastle. So, a various selection of items so far. We got a a palm tree, a, a lifeguard station, and a sandcastle. What's going to be next? Yeah, that's why I wasn't sure. And I'm kind of like, where's it at? Where's it at? So I shoot it, and I'm like, all right, there it is. All right, we'll target it with the map, and we'll build it up. And it looks like it's another palm tree. So two palm trees, a lifeguard station, and a sandcastle complete the builds on the beach. And look at that. We get the garage worker character token, which spawns a little bit further back, kind of in the middle, which is where I was thinking that last one spawned a hot second ago. So go ahead and make your way back and get your collect on. And next up, we're going to go ahead and head back up to the mainland. Well, sort of. We're going to go over to kind of the dock working area. Now, I, I got a little... I, right now, I was a little confused. I was looking at my map going, um, uh, okay, here's here's the... No, okay, where do I go now? You can see I'm totally hesitant. Don't worry about this. Sorry about this. In about five seconds, I totally know where I'm going. And we're off to the next collectible starting now. All right. Here we go. We're actually going to paint some bananas. That's bananas for people who speak normal. But uh, we're going to go ahead and pull out Rex. And, the, of course, we've got the super color gun red brick, which makes things really easy for us. It just paints the right color for us. We don't even have to go and search or figure out what color it needs to be. So 
Yeah, we paint all three of those, and booyaka shao, we get a character token spawning for Samson Crow. I'm not sure who he is, though. Uh, but we'll collect him, anyhow, and we'll go. he's got a nice little swooping bang look there, too. Uh, all right, next up, this one is a pain in the tuchus. It took me a while to find all three of these, but as it turns out, there are three boxes of cherries that need to be painted. Yeah, I said that right, boxes of cherries that are scattered throughout the town. And uh, it's just like the bananas. We just have to paint the old base of the fruit the right color. And in this particular case, again, we don't need to worry about which color it is because we got the super color gun red brick on. And I highly suggest you do too. And if you don't have it, we've got plenty of videos out there that uh, show all the red bricks scattered throughout. But hey, this is kind of one of those spots where it looks like, oh, there's nothing down there. Psych! Check it out. We actually paint the cherries red. And uh, all right, so here you go. We're going to take a quick peek at the first cherry spot and it's right under a tree that's kind of lucky but uh, all right next one we're gonna actually target it on our map and take you there uh, that's right i'll take you there bow, bow, bow. all right so uh i'm not gonna follow the ghost stud trail per se i'm gonna kind of improvise and just go towards that bouncing green arrow uh, I happen to know where all three of these are once I get up close to them. This one is probably the trickiest or cheekiest of them all. Once we get here, you'll see what I'm saying. Well, what's up with the dragon tail hanging out of that cop car? Did you see that? Go back 10 seconds and look at that. But uh, all right, next up, there's a cherry tree. And hiding behind it, kind of underground almost, is the next cherry box. So we'll go ahead and paint it red and move on. That's right, cherries, you've got red on you. Oh, you thought I was going to miss an opportunity to say that. Nope. No such luck for you. All right, next up, we're going to go ahead and target the third and final spot, which is down here in between the big rectangle and the small rectangle. And all right, got a confession for you and a suggestion for you. Confession is we are about to walk up and literally touch, well, bump elbows with, uh, with the next collectible or a collectible. But we're also heading for a box of cherries that's pertaining to the current collectible. So, that being said, if you went ahead and watered these flowers we're going to be right by, I wouldn't be mad at you. That's all I'm saying. So, little suggestion, maybe water the flowers. Uh, you know, it's all good. But, uh, all right, so we're here. We're in between the uh, big rectangle and little rectangle. And just like I promised, there she blows the final box of cherries we've painted red. And now we're going to go ahead and collect the token. Now, I could have watered those flowers and not come back at a later time. But we're going to go and keep things simple. I try to keep things organized as possible and easy to follow as possible. But like I said, in this particular case, I wouldn't be mad at you if you went ahead and watered them flowers. Now, to be totally honest with you, I should have jumped over the wall right here to my left and gone to my left but i targeted a little bit further down on the beach than i should have so i kind of take you on a little bit of a goose chase and i apologize for that but hey we can use this time to talk about how much awesome well i don't know i don't we, we use it for whatever i guess so look, look at me i'm like um okay it's not on the beach brian get back up there where where are we going uh, collect the token, and as soon as I get straightened out, heading back towards the pier over here, I see it in my distance. There it is! It's right ahead of us now. So, all right, we're good to go. Violet de, 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 de Berg? Is that how you say that? De Berg? De Berg? De Berg? Anyhow, we're going to pick up Violet, which happens to be the 14th character token. And, oh, look at that. I'm looking at the timer here. It looks like we have uh, pretty much crossed the halfway mark. So, all right, we're going to hop right over the fence there and go all the way up the hill. Now, kind of stay right to the main building that we pop up in front of there and make your way all the way up to the back side of it. Now, there's a couple of spots you can actually use as a little bit of a height booster here, but the goal is we're going to try to get up on top of either of these two buildings. Now, normally my jetpack works and I can get up there. I'm not sure what I did wrong there, but uh, there's a couple of pallets that you can not destroy that are right here, and I highly recommend using those as they're easy to get up there. And again, it's just going to use the jetpack to get up and around. And this time we're going to go around the side and jump over this fence here. Because behind this octane tank, you're going to see a little bit of a glowing token. That's right, Deborah Graham is snuck up in there look at that there she is thanks deborah for joining our crew we'll go ahead and purchase you at a later date I, I, god that sounded kind of bad but you know what i'm saying we got the token unlocked we got to purchase her to use her uh, at some point again that sounded terrible my my bad uh go ahead and climb up the ladder and keep making your way up to the top of the building as you probably already noticed there is a super brick build up here it's a very tiny one but it's kind of a costly one it's 12 grand that's more than a vehicle calling point 
And uh, but lots of bricks are used here, as you can see, it builds up a really tall smokestack. Ooh, and at the very top, it has spawned a character token for us. So, oh hey, got to, got to get them all, got to get them all. Make sure you grab all them studs that come puking out there before making your way up. Now I'm gonna cheat and use my jetpack to get up top here. And uh, but hey, if you're having trouble, simply use the old watering can man from the Farmer Joe edition of Chase McCain. And look at that, I, I missed out. So my suggestion here for any of these smokestacks is float all the way to the top until you can't go any higher and then make your move to go from there. As you can see, we got the hazmat guy at the top of the third smokestack, which was the super brick build that we just built. And next up, we got another character token. This one is for Kowalski. That's right, old Henrik Kowalski. He's going to be right behind us, kind of, actually. We're going to jump and drop down and jump up onto the building side behind us. And look at that. We're going to keep on keeping on up from top to top to top. And this one's a little trickier. But, hey, I saw a couple of super bricks. So let's go ahead and grab those real quick first. Uh, look at that. Uh, we got three extra super bricks. Plus, we got the times two ones. We ended up getting like 6,000 extra super That's not bad. All right, we're going to jump up onto this, uh, I don't know what that was, like an air conditioning ducting or some, something like that. And uh, we're going to use it to get up to that big platform. And then we're going to drop down to this round silo-like area, which, look at that, there's a jetpack spot. We're going to use that to get up to this other larger silo-type thing. And, of course, the character token is floating up in the middle. Kind of looks like a movie camera on the map, doesn't it? you got the two round silos and then the rectangle below it. And it kind of looks like a movie camera. Anyway. All right, we got that token. What's up next? What do we got? What do we got, Brian? What's up next? All right, the flowers watered. All right, this one is the one that we were just at uh, not too long ago where we actually uh, grabbed or uh, painted the cherries, I should say. We didn't grab the cherries. Uh, I thought if it were me, I would have nom 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 some because, you know, I love me some cherries. Cherries and probably strawberries are probably... Well, no, cherries, strawberries, and raspberries are my favorite fruits. Not that you guys asked, but... Uh, anyways, we got some flowers we just watered in. All right, so hey, this is a lesson to be learned right here. I'm going to show you on the map real quick where we are, and then I'm going to show you what not to do. Don't try to use the jetpack to get out there. Don't try to use the jetpack to get under there. It doesn't work. Simply destroy this blue barrel and build up the boinger and use a different character who doesn't have the jetpack because for some reason the astronaut has a hard time on most of the bouncing apparatus but look at that all you have to do is just press and hold the jump and look at that you get your boing on get up under those handhelds and climb all the way out there now you might have even been able to use the jetpack at the very end there to get up there but i'm not exactly sure but we got the louis mitchell token now and uh yeah so there's this boinger here and you could try to use it all day long but you're not gonna have much luck with it it doesn't quite get you high enough and don't worry we're gonna take you higher that's right see i tried switching characters thinking that was gonna do it but nope we're going to go ahead and hop onto those boxes right there. That's right. Now, it wants you to go all the way up to that roof behind us and or slide down on that tight pants, tight rope slide situation. But we're not going to do that. It's way too much time. And although we do find ourselves up on top of a building that takes us there at one point, we, we, we're not worried about that. So unlock the free run and, of course, hop on Mr. Piglet, who's actually right behind the free run token. And we're going to take him right on back to where the green arrow tells us to, which isn't too far from here. So... Poor little piggy ankles there. Uh, oh, and yeah, look at that. We actually went a little too far, and because we doubled back, it made it real quick and easy for us. Went right through the fence and down into kind of the harbor area here. We'll go ahead and pick up the little piglet, slam him in there, and that's right. It's time for another episode of Pigs in Space. And I totally thought, wait a minute, that blasted the pig the wrong way, but as it turns out, no, the, uh, the farm is right on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, look at that. This game is not just shooting pigs off into nowhere. It's actually using a little bit of... Uh, methodology it's actually literally launching them to the farm so it makes me feel better about all these pigs launching through the air because they could have been bacon and and if we're just launching pigs out into nowhere then what a waste right <laughs> i guess you might be a sausage guy but oh giggity anyhow moving along brian moving along we have found ourselves under the auburn bay bridge and it turns out there's some dark gray and black bricks which in the bottom of them once destroyed you're gonna find a boulder to destroy it which is gonna give us a gold brick now, this next spot is actually kind of tricky, too, as uh, most of the metro stations have been kind of like a little stairwell that leads to the bottom. And then, of course, we destroy the green box and build it up into a terminal station. Well, that's not what's going to happen here. We're actually going into a different set of stairs here. So I guess it's similar. It's just a larger kind of a uh, it's like central station, I guess, is what 
their whole thought of it was. But look at that. As soon as we go down the stairs, hang a Louie. That's left for those of you who don't know. And we'll go ahead and smash and rebuild the train station, which guess what? That's 14 out of 14. It's going to give us a gold brick, but it's also going to give us a reward. It's going to give us a bonus token for the Emerald Knight and complete the train network. So once you complete all of the train station activations, we get this lovely beautiful green train which looks a lot like the hogwarts train except for it's green instead of red but anyways uh moving along we've got an atm to destroy which was right across the train tracks down inside the metro station so if you're confused on how we got here simply go back one quick link to the train station activation and it'll show you just how to get down inside here meanwhile we're gonna go ahead and smash and collect our gold brick and get on out of here now luckily for us uh, we are ready to, uh, steal a vehicle, because there's, well, I guess I'm, I'm itching, I'm itching for a robbery, and it just so happens we need our man Rex to go ahead and rip off a strong handle here, and we've got ourselves a vehicle robbery waiting for us. This one happens to be for Rex's Riot, and I have to be honest, this is by far my favorite vehicle in the game. That's why I was so excited to, to rob this vehicle, because, uh, you know, I'm not like a thief or nothing, I don't want you guys getting the wrong impression of me, but this guy right here... Boy, this thing drives like a dream, and look how cool it looks like. I mean, that's pretty sweet. I mean, the skull is pretty, pretty awesome. It's kind of like a little baby skull, a little, little cartoon baby skull. But, it, you know, it's still fun, though. And look, look at me just run into everything. It's got some pretty sweet suspension. Of course, it's got boost. Wouldn't be the best if it didn't have the boost. And all right, so this one's pretty simple. We're just going to follow the old stud trail as per use, trying to avoid the cops. But I have to be honest, the cops didn't really give me much of a problem uh, even when I got up close and personal to them, they, they didn't even try to car ramrod me or nothing. And if that sounds like I'm complaining, don't get me wrong. It was it was a nice, like, smooth sailing drive all the way to the finish line. So, yeah, we actually have to go all the way over across the bridge. And I don't mean the old Auburn Bray. We're all the way back over to uh, the whatchamacallit. I don't even remember which bridge this is called. It's been so long. I've stretched this series out over days and weeks and even months now. And uh, it's, there's been a lot, though. Think about it. Do, if you do the math, there's like a, a thousand plus collectibles in this game. If you include all the gold bricks, character tokens, vehicle tokens, and all that. Like, it is insane. And, uh, but boy, we've had fun doing it. Hopefully you had fun following along. Uh, you know, our numbers are starting to go back up again. So hopefully that's because more and more of you are getting this game. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos out there for this already because there was a Wii U version like a couple of years ago, so I know a lot of people covered that. But we do appreciate all of you guys who are watching our videos and who are faithful. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> who are watching? You watch whoever. We, we're just glad to help out. That's that's the at the end of the day, we like helping out. So if we can do that, woohoo! Speaking of woohoo, we have completed a vehicle robbery challenge, and there's only one left. We get that Rex's Riot vehicle token, which we will purchase at some point. And, uh, oh, to the, yeah, uh oh. Thumbie's coming in with another helpful tip. You know what that means. It's going to be a few minutes before we get to the next collectible. So we're going to go ahead and use our super fast travel red brick and target the station because that last mission took us a long ways away from home. That's right, we weren't in Albuquerque anymore. Now we're back up, and we're going to go up the street, kind of right where, where we just were. In fact, there was where the vehicle robbery started. But instead of going up to the right, we're going to go up to the left, and we're going to scale up onto this building here, thanks to the stairwell and our jetpack to get over this nice fenced off area here. Now we're going to go across the wall run. And, well, I cheat there. I use the jetpack again. And, you know, I, I take a peek there. I'm looking for the coffee break, which I was sure was right there, but it turns out it's right here. So we'll go all the way to the end of the fenced area, and we'll hop over one more fence and drop down into this little nook and cranny. Now, we've actually kind of been here before, but we were right below ourselves painting a box of cherries. That's right. Those were the cherries that had red on them, if you remember. But, all right, take some sweet time here and pull out your coffee mug and get your... Get yourself a nice little cup of joe, and uh, we'll go ahead and roll out after this. We'll collect our gold brick. And it looks like we got one more coffee break waiting for us at Lady Liberty Island. And, yeah, I, I did the math, and it looks like all of our numbers are going to work out. That's always kind of a worry of mine until we get to the very end of Free Roam, because you never know. Sometimes there's that one pesky character, character token or something you missed, but uh, so far everything's adding up. All right, now we're going to use the Farmer Joe watering can there to go ahead and get up to that rooftop on the left of the coffee break. And then our jetpack to get up onto the handhelds of the building on the right because there's a couple of large smokestacks here. And check it out. We are going to go ahead and jump on these handhelds all the way to the top. 
And again, ride that smoke all the way to the top, then make your way over to the next one, and booyah ka -show! Avery Cruz is waiting for us at the top. Now we're going to do this death-defying jump down onto this roof over here, but you might have noticed there's a teleporter or transporter here. We're going to go ahead and use it real quick, because we want to show you where it's at. Now, hey, remember that building we were just on uh, right above the coffee break? Guess what? This transporter here actually takes us all the way back there. So if you didn't do that death-defying jump, or maybe you used the quick link to get here, there's a couple of ways to get up onto that roof, mainly the stairs right below where we're standing right now, and then you have to hop over the fenced area. But uh, once you get up to the very top, use the transporter, come look on, at that on, in the very on, corner, Shandy, we get the been? gangs Sorry. arrested. And check it out, we actually get a platform. bonus character I token for Marion Dundee. Now, normally, I you only you get a gold disguise. brick for completing a gang you arrested idiot. mission. Well, However, this one happens to be the final we gang the that we arrest. Oh, so we guesses? actually get rewarded you for betcha. one of the bonus character tokens right here, and it happens to be Marion Dundee. So, look at that. Now, this was redonkulous. They give us this spot on the beach. Hey, we're so far away from the beach, are you kidding me? Now, I recommend hopping into a vehicle and making your way over there because you only get two minutes, and oh, look at me, I got pancaked already. I, I should have been in that vehicle, not getting run over by it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to head for the cranes, and then we're going to take a hard right, and that's going to take us over to the beach, man. That's right, right by the beach, man. You'll know when you get close, because on your compass, you'll see the little gang's arrested icon. And it's finally starting to peek up. There you can see it in the top right corner of that compass. Now it's in the top left. And I had a hard time getting over this fence with barbed wire. So I had to use a little higher object to get up over the top. But look at that. We're coming in close now. And I do believe we finish with about a minute left. So uh, the game does give you plenty of time. However, if you get lost or the camera gets backwards on you or something, it's real easy to have to start this over again. But uh, luckily for me, I made it there, and as soon as I get there, five bad guys rush me on the scene, and you know what time it is. That's right, it's time to get our dance on. Cha, 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 cha. I give one of them a little stunnage, and of course, I mess this up. I throw like three guys, counterattack like two guys before I even get any of them cuffed. All right, no, I lied. I only throw one guy and counterattack one guy. But look at that. I end up getting two in a row, and that guy flips over the top. I love I love these little animations of the the, the fights, you know, how you spin them around or, you know, tuck them around, whatever it is. Oh, you can shout. Look at that. I slammed those cuffs from a distance. And O to the S. Promised, it's our final gang. Arrested, and there's Marion Dunby. I think that's Chief Dunby, if we're being honest there. And another gold brick. Look, did I read that right? Are we only 20 gold bricks away from being done? That is such a relief. And look at Ellie. Ellie's all, woo to the who. You have arrested everybody. We're like, yeah. You know, rubbing the old fingers on the chest there as we do. Kind of, uh, you know, being all super cool. I don't know what that really came from. I think it's when you take your glasses and you're able to clean glasses. No, is that what that's from? I don't know. Anyhow, uh, slam dunk some dynamite into the brown barrel right up above where we took care of them gang members and get inside. Now, if you remember, we actually had to use that octane tank to get up and over that barbed wire fence. But, hey, look at that. We are officially doing the free run now, which happened to be right there at that octane tank. Now, a little uh, pointer here. There are seven, that's right, seven of those time tokens. And you can easily skip over a couple of them, whether you mean to or not. Uh, and like right here, you can go up, up, and away, but no, you should go around the backside because if you don't, you're going to miss this guy right here. So, you know, I'm kind of cheating. If you notice, I'm, I'm definitely using an efficient route, uh, but I got to be honest, I got all the way to the end and I was like, oh, I hope I got seven. I hope I got seven. But I did, I got seven. So here's that spot earlier that I was talking about. Um, you know, this is where the game wants you to go over to get up to where the piggy is. And where you unlock the free run, but, I mean, our way is so much better, right? I mean, you can comment down below and let us know what you think. But I feel like our way, jumping on that box on the other side of this big building to get right up onto the top. But, I mean, obviously in the free run, you need to go this route. But, uh, you know, having to get up there just for the... Nah. All right, all the way, slide down. Seventh token in the bag. Up the climb wall we go. Booyah, kosh, All right, another free run done. And, uh, ooh, we only got one left, son. Oh, right, only one left. Oh, we got Doc's Foreman character token for completing that free run. And we also got ourselves a gold brick. Go ahead and scale over that fence one more time. And, oh, you might have noticed that right across the street or just south of where we were, there is another super brick build. Now, this building is one of those tricky buildings to get up on top. There's a couple of items down below and around, but there is this 
box you cannot destroy with a couple of jumps and a jetpack you can get up on top of it and look at that we are all of a sudden on the rooftops which gives us to a handheld section and takes us to the tippy tops of the rooftops and look at that we find ourselves a helipad super brick build and blue you shout it's gonna make it rain some studs we're gonna collect those as well as well a vehicle token for the Hera that's weird oh it's a chopper it's a chopper and we also get another gold brick and before making your way anywhere else, you're going to want to pay attention to the space crate in the back side here, because we're going to use that to go ahead and gain access to this water tower top over there, because you can't get to the water tower any other way, at least not that we could find. So we're going to go ahead and beam in some parts here and build them up into a boinger, which will launch us across the alleyway here and onto a nice handheld on the side there, which... If you play your cards right, you can jump up top and, of course, pull out the undercover edition of Chase McCain and get your scan on. And let's see here. We're looking for a robber trying to take a vehicle. Looks like we found him. He's right down below us. And as soon as we target him, our faithful police chopper comes in and drops us a vehicle to roll out in. So drop down, hop in, and let the chase begin. And all right, we're going to go ahead and look at that. He's stuck. I'm not sure what was going on there. It looked like he was patiently waiting for his entry into traffic. And that did not work out so well for him. And look at that. That's right. Pinned him down. One, two, three. He's down. That's right. If this would have been wrestling, you would have been already out. But in this case, I have to chase it down. And look at that. He went to use the crosswalk. What was up with that? But uh, vehicle robber arrested. The old top cop trophy achievement is now ours. We also got a vehicle token for the Sphinx. And a gold brick for completing that. But wait. There's more. We get a bonus character token, Chuck Morrison, for arresting... No, that's not right for not arresting all gangs. Or, I guess it's for arresting all robbers. I had that wrong. I'm going to fix that. So, if you're wondering, I, I fixed some text. That's I read my own text on screen, and it was wrong. And uh, But I'm going to fix that, Hope, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I fixed it. Anyhow, uh, flip the switch. I, you know, this is some stuff up on the rooftops here. This, I believe there was a super brick here at one point. Once you get all the studs from flipping that switch, I believe right in the middle there was a super brick. I could be wrong on that, but I can tell you right now there's a super brick right down below it. I guarantee you that. And all right, so this next section here is a little bit wonky too. I probably should have showed you the map to show you where this is and how we got here. But you'll just have to use the quick links and go back. Now, earlier I also mentioned that there was one of these little search parties here where I get all the way to the end and it hoses me. Look, the steps go all the way to where the X should be. Why am I not getting the X? So I have to go back and do it again. So we'll see if the X marks the spot this time. Usually third time's the charm, but hopefully second time will be the best time. I don't know. We'll see. We got both footprints here. Maybe that was the problem last time. There was only one. Hey, there was only the right footprint going to the end there. I'm not sure why it hosed me the first time. But speaking of hose, we're actually getting this valve here. We're going to turn off this. I guess it's not a hose, but it's a it's a pipe over here. It's kind of like a, it's a metal hose, right? A pipe's a metal hose. <laughs> I was on the right track. But uh, once that little wheel has been spun there, we're actually going to see some smoke. Or I don't know what that really was. It's going to go away, though, and it's going to allow a safe passage which I just jumped by that anyway, so that was kind of pointless why I did all that. But look at this. We're going to go ahead and shimmy all the way up, and we got another rooftop that has three smokestacks. Well, kind of. They're not the traditional smokestacks. But look at this. At the very top of the third one, we find Ali Jos Joshki. I'm not sure how you say that, but it's a character token, and we'll take it. And we're going to drop right down below, and guess what? This is actually the final mission of this area and of the mainland. We actually get to go to Lady Liberty Island next. But we're going to go ahead and put out a fire with our fireman there. And look at that. We pull out our crowbar and rip open the door to get inside this lovely vehicle, which... I don't know. I like the last one better. Uh, Rex's right is way cooler. But this kind of looks like Chase's car that they spawn us at the beginning of... Well, when you spawn at the police station there, right? But uh, once again, you just need to follow the old green stud trail all the way to the finish line, which happens to be the old chop shop. And uh, so I guess it's kind of weird we finished this area on a bad note because we're actually kind of doing a bad guy deed right now. Uh, well, that's all right, though. We're going to go ahead and cross the big bridge here. What is it, Heritage Bridge? I think it's Heritage Bridge, right? And look at that. There's the green emerald or whatever it's called. Emerald Knight is what I think it's called. And uh, we're faster than him. That's right. We're faster than a speed and bullet. Faster than track. Ooh, we got boost, too. Woo-hoo. All right. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video series. It's been a long one. We've tried to do a video about every other day. Now, for those of you who don't know, since I have a little bit of time to talk here, 
Some of these areas, uh, the internet had some maps with collectibles that were pretty reputable. They were pretty good and they were pretty, pretty well documented. So that was good. It helped me with a lot of the free roam areas. I was able to kind of use those and figure out where I was going. Now, thank you to the internets. But there was plenty that did not have maps. So shame on you, internets. And uh, so I had to make my own and I had to go take screenshots and all that. And if you're looking for those or curious to what they look like, we're going to go ahead and stuff those in to our trophy achievement guide on our main website. So if you haven't already, stop by happythumbsgaming.com and check out our trophy achievement guide, specifically this one. And you can go ahead and drop down to our free roam area videos, which should be towards the very bottom of the collectibles of the trophy guide. And if they're not there, I'll go ahead and crack the whip and get Dougie to put them there. And we'll go ahead and add those maps as well, just in case you are wanting to use a map too instead of our video. Now, hopefully you'll use our video, but either way, we want to help you guys. And at the end of the day, it's all that matter. Now, hey, <laughs> hey, normally I skip that roundabout there and it takes me to where I need to go in an efficient way. In this particular case, the right way to go was to take the right back there and follow the ghost stud trail. So unfortunately, I, I went the long way home. Yeah, I went the long way home. But look at that, there's the purple halo. We're gonna pull on in, and we're gonna collect our gold brick and our vehicle token. And then, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but we may or may not get rewarded for uh, robbing all of the vehicles around the town. So first off, let's go ahead and collect our Enberg vehicle token and our gold brick for completing that. And that actually wraps up all of the collectibles. But wait, there's more. Like I said, there's another collectible here. This one is for old Quang. Is that how you say that? But uh, anyhow, Ellie gives us some more props, and after we listen to her yap a little bit, we go ahead and we pull up our final totals to prove that we got all of the collectibles in Auburn. And look, I'm jumping for joy because I know I got one little area left, and it happens to be Lady Liberty Island, but we're a long ways away from home. But hey, here's Auburn, and booyah ka -shoo! We got them all! Doesn't it feel good to know that we're in the home stretch and we're almost done? But uh, I know I feel good. But that's going to wrap it up for LEGO City Undercover Auburn Free Room. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was just a really quick peep at the overall totals there. Uh, uh, of course, we'll probably do a video where we go ahead and uh, buy all the character tokens, vehicle tokens. But let us know down below if you want to see something like that. As for me, I'm going to get going so I can do Lady Liberty Island. As always, until next time.